Have you hugged your foot today? Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got something that I'm just, I'm just excited to talk about these. These are one of my favorite Nikes ever. They're one of the most comfortable shoes from Nike ever. And they've been fully recrafted. And it's that OG, OG Hirachi. These are bad boys. They just are. The Air Hirachi is one of the most comfortable things from Nike ever. And that's not hyperbole. That's not me over exaggerating. That is me legitimately saying, go try on a pair. You don't have to buy them. Just try them on. If you're not like wowed by that, I don't know, man. You got like messed up nerve endings in your feet or some shit. Like they are comfortable. But the sizing is wonky. It really is. So back in 1991, the legend Tinker Hatfield designed these bad boys right here. He designed a shoe that was supposed to move with your foot and fun fact they were not well received at first they ended up having to pawn these off at a marathon they did a little like pop-up shop type thing and they only had 5,000 of these things and the initial 5,000 run was doing so poorly that the line almost got canceled what? canceled mm -mm, no way this is one of the most popular shoes in their running category and it was almost canceled whoa so they brought it to the marathon and then everybody that was there, like they bought a pair, they tried them on. That's what I'm saying, try sh on. You can't talk about nothing if you don't try it, trust me. So all of these people tried this damn shoe on, sold out. Now, 30 years later, we're back, recrafted, remastered, and these are fantastic. They did a really good job on these. I gotta give it to them. Same thing with the 90s or Air Max 3s, whatever, these are cool. Also, another fun fact is that this shoe right here was made to move with your foot, which is the whole slogan of have you hugged your foot today. So they're made to fit super snug, which they do, but it also was a shoe that was made to be like almost like a minimalist barefoot shoe, even though today's standards with Nike Free, designed by Tinker's brother, Toby, those things are way more minimal than something like this. But this was kind of the start of that and especially back in the 90s like 1991 when we had shoes like the air max 90 and all that stuff and even if you go beyond that fast forward to 1995 the air max 95 the 97 nothing like these you know what i mean like these feel futuristic still which is insane so yeah this was really a thing of its own like nike wasn't doing stuff like this at that time and nowadays it's almost standard but again this is kind of that shoe that started it with the nike brand i'm not saying of all brands i'm just saying with nike's brand this is the shoe that kind of started that barefoot minimalist type of runner. Also, this shoe is one of the first ones to kind of inspire the cross category footwear thing. So like we had the Hirachi runner and then the following year they redrafted or recrafted that into the Hirachi basketball. And that shoe was mad popular too. Those were retroed a few times and they weren't well received as retros. I don't know what it would be like nowadays in today's sneaker climate when resellers and bots buy everything before normal people have a chance to buy it, making it seem like things are selling out even though they're really not. They're just being bought by one person or you know a group of people and no i'm not going to talk about the drama sh you guys already know how i feel about resellers they're scum that kid scum his parents scum they work for nike scum it starts at the top man corruption starts at the top and it trickles its way down that's all you got to know so these guys right here, now back in 2021, they actually released over in Australia before they actually hit stateside. So a friend of ours, his name is Eric. He also has a uh, great Instagram handle. It's perfectly normal. You can see it right there. Dude's uber talented. Like these are tiny little drawings, man. These are sick. One of the greatest shoes of all time, by the way. I know she doesn't like them, but they are. But thanks to Eric, we were able to get a pair of these. He sent them over. I really appreciate it. So as far as tech specs are concerned, waffle outsole for the win. You know, Nike's always got to play up on that heritage, which I love. And that is what keeps your brand alive, man. It's nostalgia because you're hitting the notes that the OGs had. You're bringing it to the new generation and you're starting up new sneaker lovers. But we got the lugs on there. Lots of rubber here. However, you do have all of those like flex grooves and cutouts and stuff. Again, one of the first ones to take that minimalist approach. These are super flexible. If you could get a pair that would fit you comfortably you could probably still run in these no problem you know what i mean like it's that kind of shoe like this is one of those shoes that just last generations now moving on up to the cushion we have a super lightweight and fluffy phylon and this stuff when i say this uncomfortable man like this is comfortable dude inside of the phylon is full length air this is what my first pair of jordans felt like those 11s those original 1995 jordan 11s felt like this Fuck comfortable they don't make like this i almost want to go on a rant on jordan brand but we're not even like you know what i mean the people over there have ruined the legacy of that footwear brand it's crazy what they've done to it because even with the remastered 11s they don't feel like this but they should they keep trying to cater to the sneaker heads where they're worried about creasing in the midsole and stuff it's like that shit, man make shoes comfortable again i'm gonna make that a shirt 
Make Nikes comfortable again. Yeah. Make Jordans comfortable again. Yeah. Nike's doing it. So just Jordan. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now the upper is where things get really interesting because that's the, the whole minimalist side of things. The shoe is basically a neoprene sock with a couple of overlays. And the overlays are nice, man. Like the leather that they use on here, they're nice thick cuts, but they're also super soft. That PU coat is super soft as well. So when you touch this stuff, dude, it just wrinkles. It's so buttery. And then we also have one of my favorite parts is this little cage back here. I just think it looks so cool. This thing does have some durability issues over the years because it is plastic or rubber. So it will harden up over time. So what I would recommend to avoid stressing that thing out is when you put the shoe on pull the, the back sock don't pull this you just need to open it like that and you're good to go that thing will break in the more that you wear them and all that stuff so it'll be easier to put on every time and also these guys right here again they're recrafted or remastered so they come in this original style box which is fantastic so it's very similar to the stuff that we saw on the air max threes also on the box we got this really cool you know phrase right there that nike used to put on all their products i don't know if they still do that today because i don't see it on their sportswear boxes and then the uh the paper right here is really cool because you got the limited edition tag you got the original kind of hirachi style logo or branding that came on i think it was like the fourth or fifth colorway of these so these guys have the original tongue patch and then they put on that little rubber hirachi patch later on also this guy right there is that international thing so that's what's on the uh, air max 90 spruce the insole which is really cool also this midsole right it reminds me of the puma rsx i wonder if they borrowed that from something like this that original chunk also the pg5s have something very similar as well shout out to mrs wink for that one <laughs> Now, as far as sizing is concerned, go up at least a half a size from your normal size, but some people will want to go up a full size because even at a half a size, these are small, man. Like this shoe just fits one to one. This is a, a half a size up from my typical size. And even then I'm kind of like, hmm, you know, cause my toes are right at the edge. Do you know that's why as much as I think they look cool, mm -hmm. I have owned a pair of these. I wore them for a little bit, but then easily I was just like, I don't want to bother with these because I didn't like the fit and I didn't like that you had to Oh, move you're talking up. about this actual one. Yeah, yeah, move up so far. Like I had to go up at least a whole size. Mm -hmm. Probably should have gone up a size and a half because I hated how this back booty forced me yeah, into, the, into the, toe. the front. And then I don't like that this doesn't fill out. Oh, it looks a little weird. Mine fills out, but it's because my shoes are snug. Yeah. Um, but she's a wide footer. So that's a wide footer reference is you're probably gonna wanna go up a full size. Normal people, at least a half a size, trust me, I've gone true to size with these and it's a mistake every time. You know what I mean? Like it just, it's too tight. The cushion and stuff, super comfortable though. This recrafted version looks and amazing the toe like this looks like it's straight up pulled like i would not have known if i just saw this that this was a retro had i not known it was a retro i would have thought that somebody kept a really good conditioned pair somewhere stuffed in a closet under a bed i don't know and just been like man these are from like 1990 and then i see the tag and be like no they're not they did a great job recrafting these i think are they perfect no but they look better than any of the previous ones besides the originals and they've come out with so many versions of this shoe so like they've come out with versions with free bottoms mm -hmm. uh this is a women's version with like the kind of like you know jordan 8 or uh, air raid cross strap stuff that's um, the version that i like because yeah, it this, doesn't this force one, your foot. This one's made a little differently. These were like a winter shoe. Uh, also, fun fact, this is uh, Mrs. Wing's YouTube debut was on this video. So if you can see how... Uh, how Awkward? <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say awkward, but like shy. You know what I mean? Like uncomfortable. It was one of those things where I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I never know what I'm supposed to do. But I didn't want to be like over the top. And I didn't mm. want to be... You just got to be yourself. That's all. Yeah. And I, all I did was ask her a few questions about them. Yeah. I took care of the review. It's the same thing that we do now. Mm -hmm. It was just the beginning stage of it. It's just all about being comfortable and stuff like that. Being on camera is not easy. You know what I mean? Everybody's got to critique and all that stuff, but they'll never do it. So yeah. I don't talk about it. I be about it. You know what I mean? That's an old, old school thing. We don't talk. We just do. You know, these look great next to that hoodie with the gray because that's what it looks like, man. This is just the original dad shoe, you know? Yeah. Like, like this comfortable, man. They look dope. Like, look at that with that hoodie. I'm serious. I'm not being, I'm not playing. Like, this is, this is what I would wear with these. I'd let the shoes do the talking and the outfit is just there. It's just, they're just clothes. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a fashion statement. You sound like a model. Huh? That's why they have models be really tall and really skinny because their body is supposed to be a hanger, basically. So that the clothes are what you're that's looking That's what, at. that's why? Yeah. They're walking hangers. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and what am I? My love. 
don't put that in there. Stop <laughs> embarrassing me in front of my friends, man. What's wrong with you? Damn. Jesus. Well, I'm not a walking hanger, okay? <laughs> I fill them clothes out. But uh, yeah, that's, that's a weird ass fun fact. I had no idea. You're welcome. I didn't ask for that one though. Because <laughs> now I just- A lot of the things I tell you, you didn't ask I for. I know, but that just makes me feel bad for those people that they're looked at as walking hangers. That's that's not good. But anyways, that pretty much takes care of for these guys. This is the remastered or recrafted Nike Air Hirachi original from 1991. Are we going to see all the original colorways return? I believe so. We saw it on the on the 90 or Air Max 3, whatever. The f ah, so 21, 2021. This will be the year of the Hirachi. It's the anniversary too. It's 30 years. Mm -hmm. It's time to do these and do these right. Again, just go up at least a half a size. What I would actually recommend is if you can get into a store and try them on that that's what i would recommend because uh yeah she did i remember that actually you were like can i see another size please yeah every size until she got one that was kind of comfortable yeah hoping that okay it'll stretch and it just never seemed like it was going to and then i was like there, i have other shoes it's my ideal fit that's all i'll say mm -hmm. going up half a size like when i put them on i just feel comfortable but yeah man i love the way that they made these like look at look at oh look wait at I'm, I'm wearing a black shirt sorry guys they always complain that they can't see. <laughs> so uh, yeah, look at the toe, man. That's clean. And then you look at the toe down view. Mm. Man, it's so fresh. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Again, thank you to Eric for helping me grab these. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, guys, have a good one.